Some of this is coming off, some of this is coming off, some stuff is coming off. Oh! <laughs> wow. I think body hair is as natural as anything else. The worst thing you could say to somebody is you should take care of that. I think it takes a very courageous woman to expose her hair because she will get shamed. I was with a friend and we were going somewhere. I asked him if I could borrow his deodorant and he was like, shaved recently and I said have you I was in a bikini and my ex kind of like touched my leg or like kind of scraped by it and he was like oh you're trying to be like me now I remember feeling so embarrassed because he felt that and he made a comment about it I shaved my head a couple of years ago that was the most feminine I ever felt was when I had no hair on my head okay so here's this lovely tall thin woman with lots of pubic hair what I prefer is this Every morning I shave, so this completely is gone. I'll just trim a little bit. It's just a little unsightly when it's like three inches long. I really do like my caps to be smooth, it's nice. With my pubic hair, I'll shave it once in a while, but for the most part, I just kind of keep the hair short. I get uncomfortable when it gets really, really long and it like starts to itch. A lot of the men who have this issue with a woman's natural body hair in the pubic area are the same men who flaunt their natural look in that region of their bodies. I think that sucks, so we'll keep that there. Okay. What I prefer on a man, really just this. In terms of sexual attraction, I prefer this. Exactly how it is. That's for me. <laughs> this is a little too much for me. Just for access purposes. We'll give his mustache a little trim. I like when the hair kind of falls there. What do they call it? I don't know exactly where the origin is from, but I know that it quite often makes me happy. Happy trail! And then moving down to pubic hair. I'm gonna put the scissors down. If I saw that, I'd be like, uh-uh. No, I, I want out. This is scary. I'm not afraid of pubic hair on men. As long as they're clean. You get in there with a bar of soap, and hair or no hair. Men face the same type of pressures that women do. Their pressure is to be hairy, and girls are their pressure is to not be hairy. So I don't think there's a double standard. The same kind of standard that goes for women not shaving, I think, also applies to men that shave. What you're used to seeing is is a big part of what your perception is of something. I think it's gender roles. That's that's what it all comes down to. It's like differentiating like the two sexes. I'd like to see a time and a place and a day where nobody cares. I hope my mother doesn't watch this. <laughs>